I listen to music. <laughs> depends. Like, I like all different type of music, you know. It depends on the mood I'm in. If I'm in a sad mood, I'll play, like, some slow jams, some oldies or whatever, you know. Depends on my mood. But, like, other friends I know, they would write. They, like, write what they're feeling. They write about their day, write, like, rhymes, songs, whatever, you know. Well, I write because I don't trust anybody. Well, like, I don't trust a lot of people. And I write because I know that, like, when I write it, I see it on paper. I read it over. It's like reading a storybook. And I read it over and over. And I'm like, is this true? Sometimes. Most of the time? Yeah. And it's like, it's in a book, so it's, it's okay. Nobody else is seeing it. Some people do allow other people to read their writing. And then people read them and it's like, oh my gosh, where did this come from? It's just like pouring out all that anger and hatred of your heart and then your thoughts. Yeah. And in a way that's kind of like talking to somebody except you don't really get a response. You just tell them and you get everything off your chest. And I think writing, to me, is is better than Talking, and you can keep your own writing in your own little spot. I don't write. I don't like to write still. I just to like listen to my music. Mm -hmm. but through the music, and and I mean sometimes the dancing, because that's what I do. Like I'll put on music and I'll dance, and when I dance, then I can feel. Um. So I don't know. Music has been good for me. Not only just the listening and the hearing of it and the tones and stuff like that, but interacting with it. And it's like, I'm, you know, they talk about being in your body. Well, it feels like that's a way of me not numbing out and not avoiding. I actually can feel when I can feel myself. And ritual is also important. Because I've done stuff for myself. Like I have a picture of my dad, um, one of my favorites, it was from in Saudi Arabia when I'd been out there with him. And I can remember going to the desert, we'd gone to a, and that picture was taken then, but it was a really nice day. You know? And um, So I like that picture of Bradley, I keep that one by my bedside. My wall here is just of my family. Pictures of me and, and my family, from like my father, my cousins in the States, little pictures of me and my sister when we first went to Trinidad, my little brother, my little sister, my older sister, pictures of, you know, Tupac and all of them, a drawing, Bone Thugs and Harmony, of my girls at school, my boys. Most of these pictures are from just like Christmas, birthdays, like summertime, Labor Day. This is just a little altar that I have in my room of a Buddha, my teddy bear from my granny when I was a baby, a Bible from when I was young, picture of my stepdad, my mommy and my sister, a prayer that I'm going to get on a tattoo. This is the next little altar. There was more stuff on this altar. But my mom trying to like fix it up still, but I didn't tell her to. But it's just a picture of my great aunt, one of my cousins. She lives in Washington. My boy Drew, like stuff from my aunt that that belonged to my aunt. A flower from her funeral, pictures, a picture of Aaliyah. Cause she passed on too, so I like that. I liked her singing and everything. I got my music set up over here, and. My next little altar. This is my boy Drew. His mom made it. It's a backpack. There's this picture on it. Got posters everywhere. A collage me and my cousins made for my Auntie Natalie for her funeral and her viewing. My great aunt passed away on my birthday. And then people that are like positive in the world today Queen Latifah, Muhammad Ali. I don't know really about Lady Saw, but she does some rugged music. And my cousin. Socrates, my picture, my aunt gave me my great aunt. Martin Luther King, these are my aunts who passed away. These are her certificates. 
because she was a nurse, so it's like her nursing certificates from Newfoundland, Newfoundland and Guyana. Spider Jones, Tukey Williams, he's gone too, they executed him. Martin Luther King, I Have a Dream speech, Julie Black, Toronto born, and Leila Ali, and that's about it. That's my room.